लाल का गिरा आई नी तेरा लाल का गिरा लाल का गिरे च मैं आई डोंट नो वाई नोशन इज जस्ट नॉट रिकगनाइजिंग दैट टू बी लाइक डार्क थिंग टू बी द डी फॉर लाइक जस्ट चेंजिंग टू वाइट अगेन अगेन लाइक फिक्स वाई गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू इन दिक्कत दिस इज सिक्स ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू टू डेज डे इज मोर लाइक यू नो वॉट आई वोक अप एट फाइव थर्टी लाइक आई शुड है but still i did not quite do a lot of things like i would have wanted to <laughs> so that is like of course not in my control but i still go through how the day was I woke up at 5:30 one awesome thing figured how to make sure if tc calc is active or not i had thought in yesterday's vlog that i'll be hit, i'll be aiming at 15 episodes a day for the next 3 days Bruh. i ended up doing 6 episodes one of them was a maha episode so you can consider it like 7 episodes but the majority of work and effort today went in enhancing the music cue sheet excel script so a lot of photo hot keying and scripting for excel and i'll go through what that was so i will just quickly get to the meat of the discussion there's not anything much i have to document today uh, consider this as a test project now what i initially had was uh, g1 is is that sheet running okay by the way if i want to just run this this is something the f13 to f24 you cannot see it right how am i going to bring the task bar up it to is to one compromises <laughs> I'll have to put the task bar on the side here. Even then, I don't think it will come. But you can in my task bar. If 13 to 24 is running, it's in my startup. Now it will always run. Now what that does is, if I press this button here, uh, it's F18, F19. It just pops this message box, and now the the music you see script is playing. Okay. Now if I uh, though the thing that I done was removing rows. So if I come in to here, the for the extra rows, if I press G1, okay, it's doing something very weird. Bruh. Let us not go there. If it if it's like this, right? Additional rows like this. I press G one. It does what I wanted to do. It removes those extra rows. Basically, it does this and then Control minus. So for these, there is this very good function called G one, which will just remove these. Okay, yeah, I can show it here. If I want to remove these three rows, okay, I can just come in here and press G one. That'll do the task for me. But what happens here is I also want to remove these extra segments which remain usually. Uh, we get to like 18 to 20 segments and i have kept 25 in the sample so i made a function with control g1 so uh, over here i will also need some data because that function works through like this so i have to come in here at the composer last composer now i press control plus g1 and that will do this so uh, quickly what happened is if i undo it removed these it calculated the number of rows and did something so this is but control g1 goes in there it calculates the number of rows that are extra deletes this and then after that it just runs the initial function the delete rows function so if i again show it to you let's say i have these here okay and i'll keep some extra we come to the last composer value in control plus g1 will calculate the extra ones and then delete that so that's one the other ones are the ones that we are already been doing so if you come in here and let's say tc calc is not open now okay it's shut so i will come in here and i have to calculate the difference of these three rows so i just come in here and press if i press g2 it will say running tc calc come in here and get the difference of this particular row only this row it is still not as fast as i would want to be but that sleep is necessary otherwise uh, the values only don't get copied okay so i can delete this if i want to do for all the rows that there are i press control plus g2 it will calculate the rows not message out anything just like efficiently and this now is working pretty fine i mean the sleep counter is also not very long but i think it's i can reduce it a little bit and ideally after this i want to calculate the sum on the right side so i have this thing called g3 which will run a tc sum function so it basically copies the last value at the bottom because that is needed as a placeholder and then it goes in and calculates the sum and paste it where it should be so control g2 and g3 takes care of this whole thing for me uh yeah other than that i also made one thing where uh, usually when i'm making these so uh, a lot of the times i want to transition from here to here so let's say when i am making it's not going to be as perfect like this there's going to be these and there's going to be this so the thing i made is i want to go from here to here i just press tilde key and it takes me there 
and it also does a scroll okay because i keep the this like this so if i do control plus tilt key it will go up and it does a scroll as well and the reason it does a scroll is if i keep my mouse here you will see that when i'm pressing control plus this yeah you can see the volume going up and down so it's volume goes up and down because of scrolling so scrolling is happening okay now from here i want to jump to the bb section this is bi section bb section i just do tilt key it takes me where it should be and does a bit of scroll and control plus still takes me back up other than that inside excel i just removed f1 f1 was just opening up that annoying Bruh. help screen which is of no help <coughs> apparently um i did not plus plus okay why does these why do these open up i did not open them now we just over here we're just calling these functions so tc delete rows it was the standard function that already existed the one new thing i've done pretty much is uh put these into functions and you will check tc calc so if win not exist the way we uh, call here is you call the class the ahk class and the program both you get it in the windows pi so see you get here you get class and then you get these so you can call both of them here a message box running so if this does not exist that means if this is closed then and if it exists then just activate it and i made these new but yeah that's pretty much it and i explained the things that i did for the tilt key the tilt key things are here if when active how does that bibb thing okay that pretty much sorts it we're already into the 10th minute and i was just watching this uh this animation challenge by and uh i it has like very of course very uh appealing prizes and stuff but i don't know if i can do that much of 3d as of now this is the challenge. Up, this is my first time competing. Hopefully, everyone gets to learn something new because that's the best prize. Good luck, everyone. So yeah, I don't quite know if I can do anything here, but of course, it's worth giving a shot. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you so much for being in the crew. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.